This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. What's up you guys, this is Insanity, and today we're going to be taking just a step back to go review the two-step, just to make sure that we can add any little touches to make it look just a little bit nicer and also make it a little bit more powerful. Without further ado, let's get down to the floor. There's a couple things we're gonna work on today. At this point, you should already know how to do the basic two-step. If you guys don't know how to do that, make sure you guys click on my two-step tutorial and learn that first. The first thing we're gonna work on is our shift in weight. We basically wanna act as if we're gonna go into a handstand like this. And we wanna actually give this like floating effect. So I want you guys to actually go to your hands and lift one leg up like that. And what we wanna do is actually float it. In order to float your leg up, you have to lean your weight onto your hands. And when you do that, your legs will go a little bit slower, okay? Now, depending on which leg you do your coffee grinder, I want you to kick that leg up first, okay? Since I kick my right, I'm gonna kick my right leg up first, okay? I go here, I'm gonna kick, and then when I do that, I'm gonna switch. So I go up and down. One more time, up and then down. Kind of like as if I was practicing getting into a freeze. This is the motion that we're gonna kind of resemble as we do our two-step, okay? So if you could imagine that step is like this, right? Not much height, not much flow to it. But when I lean onto my hands, it's gonna look like this, right? I'm gonna have slight like pause in the air. It's gonna give it a slight little texture to it. One more time. One more time, I swing and I'm gonna go as slow as I can. Ready, swing, slow, land on my foot. The second tip that I have for you guys is to land on your toes. All right, I mentioned this previously, but it's really important. It creates the spring-like effect. If you land, doom, doom, you're gonna end up making a lot of noise. We wanna pretend that we wanna be really sneaky. We don't wanna make a lot of noise. So when we land, all right? So let's go again, land on our toes. Let's do two to create that spring-like effect. Ready? All right, if you guys notice again, I'm letting boom, 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 boom. One more time. And again, with that spring-like effect, it just allows us to go a little bit faster and bounce right into our next step. The third tip that I have for you guys is actually to prepare for your next step as soon as you land step number two. And what I mean by that is we're gonna land here, one, right? And then when we switch, two, a lot of people tend to put their foot down, right? And then they go again, swing, boom. What I want you guys to do is actually prepare for that second two-step as soon as you switch. So what that's gonna look like is step, and as soon as you switch, start that coffee grinder right away, okay? So it's boom, boom, and then you go into it. Okay, one more time. Boom, boom, swing. Boom, boom, swing. Boom, boom, swing. Boom, boom, swing. This will basically allow you to really flow right into that next one versus having it real choppy like boom, boom, swing. Boom, boom, swing. One, two, swing. That actually almost makes it like a three-step process. We want it to go one, two, one, two. One, two. We're gonna be flowing over and over continuously into our next steps. The next tip that I have for you guys is to consistently reach over the leg that you are swinging. So for a normal coffee grinder, we're swinging and we're leaning forward and we're jumping. For the two step, if you can imagine, like one of the mistakes people probably made was they put their hands in the wrong position so they ended up doing a coffee grinder spinning in a circle. So same thing for our two step, we wanna always swing our hands to the side, right? And that causes us to spin in a circle. If you put your hands in front, you'll end up kind of staying in the same spot and your legs will just turn. Lastly, this one is kind of just a preference. It's really up to you. If you like it, use it. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. And that is when you guys lean onto your hands, 
you're gonna arch your back just a little bit. You don't have to arch extreme. There are people that actually do it really extreme and it looks really cool. But we are basically doing this just to kind of float ourselves over, right? What we wanna avoid is looking heavy. We wanna make our two steps look very light and also at the same time, powerful. So when we go here, boom, boom, Try to put more weight onto your hands and arch your back just slightly. Let's try that again. Boom. Swing. Up. 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 Right? And by doing this, it just allows you to slow it down. So you almost get a different texture. Tap, tap, slow. Tap, tap, slow. Tap, tap, slow. All right? Let's try it full out. Alright you guys, so those are just a couple tips to help you guys with your two-step, improve your power, improve your speed, improve your form. Take your time with the process and then really, really train and practice it. This is going to really help make your footwork look a little bit more powerful. This is an example of a circular footwork step. So again, practice it moving in a circle and then again, as always, get creative with it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Shout out to Cat Beast for sponsoring this video. And for more tutorials, knowledge, and hip hop, make sure you guys subscribe to Vincent TV.